Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be going over the upsides and the downsides to selling things on eBay. Since eBay was founded in 1995, eBay has been known as a place where anyone can buy and sell anything. And while this is still true, there are some major upsides and downsides to selling things on eBay. The first good thing about selling things on eBay is the amount of people who are shopping there. There are over 160 million people looking to buy things every month on eBay. So there aren't too many other websites where you can find that many active buyers. Another upside to selling on eBay is that it's relatively easy. All you have to do is you have an account and you take a few pictures of your item and then you list it. A third upside to selling things on eBay is that you can sell almost anything. If you are looking to sell things on, let's say, Amazon, they restrict what you can sell. However, on eBay, you can sell almost anything. And the last upside to selling things on eBay is the auction function. The upside to having the auction function is if you find two or three people who all really want this item, then they will bid each other up and you'll get more money than you would have if you just sold it for a listing price. And now for the downsides. So a lot of people who make their living selling things on eBay really don't like eBay, and I'll go over a few of the reasons why. The first reason why a lot of people don't like eBay is their large fees. So it varies for each category, but for the most part, when you sell an item on eBay, eBay gets 12.9% of the sale price plus 30 cents per order. So if you sell an item on eBay for $100, then you have to pay over $13 in fees. And this isn't even including the listing fee. If you just sell one or two things per month and don't list that many things, you don't have to worry about the listing fee. However, if you have more than 250 items listed per month, you will have to start paying a 35 cent insertion fee. And what that means is you have to pay a fee to have your item on the website. And then there are also eBay store options. And the store options range anywhere from $5 per month to $3,000 a month. However, a large majority of the people who would want to use the store function would have in between the $5 a month and the $22 a month. Because I don't think most people plan on listing over 25,000 items per month. But if you are planning on listing that many things, this is something to consider. The second biggest problem with eBay is their poor customer service and their issue with fraud and scams. So let's say as a seller you sold an iPhone for $1,000 and then you packed it up and you sent it to a customer. And then the buyer took out the phone you sent them and put in a broken phone and returned it. So now you've lost your phone and you won't have gotten paid for it. Now in a lot of the cases, the seller's just out of luck. In some cases, if the seller has enough proof and is willing to jump through enough hoops, they will be able to get their money back. However, it is very difficult and it doesn't always work. And then the last problem with eBay is difficult customers. This can mean kind of a variety of things, such as a buyer buying something and then leaving negative feedback, even though the item is how you said it was, and then it hurts your credibility and it makes it harder for you to sell things in the future. Another thing with the difficult customers is that a lot of people who shop on eBay are looking for great deals. So they won't want to pay what the item's worth, they'll want to pay less than it's worth, and you'll have to deal with that. But overall, eBay is just kind of the only option for a lot of people because there's so many customers and there aren't too many sites that let you sell the wide variety of things that eBay does. So eBay has a lot of cons, however a lot of people just have to keep on using it. But if you find something in your basement, like a Pokemon card from this video I made yesterday, and you decide you want to sell it, eBay could be a good place to sell it. But you should know that there are several negative aspects of eBay that leave sellers unsatisfied. So thanks for watching my video. If you would like more daily financial content, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you have a comment on the video or an idea for a future video, please leave it down in the comment section below. Thanks.